Hello everybody, Ken here. Welcome back to Mad Max. The hottest, sweatiest, stickiest, most rusty, tough, painted Australian man. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I thought I'd keep going. Let's uh, let's go and see. Uh, let's go see if we can find the back entrance to this. Um, I guess some kind of harbour or something. And there's a there's a tunnel, and at the end of that tunnel is a billboard that apparently we couldn't actually just pull through That's the railings. Good. So we're gonna have to go round. Oh, I've wandered into a. Oh, is this mate? How do I get in? How do I get in? Could it be something to do with this weak gate? Much like my heart. Did he say you bring the car down into this hole? Hello, oh, there's a step ladder. It's fine, Chum Bucket. Like I'm not just like diving into the darkness. This isn't like uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, where they basically just jump down into a pit, not really knowing what's what's inside there. You know, we're just we. We're just going down some stairs. This is a like an established structure. There's a man there. Got a beard. What's that? Sentry. Is this is a stealth section. I've not seen that mechanic anywhere before. I didn't even know you could do that. I mean, I wanted to try out sneaking up behind him. That's why I did it. But I didn't think it would actually do anything specific. I mean, whatever. I'll fight guys if I have to fight guys. But also, if that guy was a sentry, why was he looking at a blank wall? There's there's an entrance the other way. He knows that's where the entrance is. And in all probability, he had a car driving up and a thing scraping off as we dragged the cover away. What a terrible sentry. This place looks like a real mess. An old maintenance tunnel. Huh. I don't trust all this dust in the air. This reminds me of like The Last of Us or something. Put the mask you need to put a mask on Max, otherwise you're gonna get uh, infested with the old fungus. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. There. Something's lurking oh god, I don't like this at all. Don't say something's lurking in there. Is this game going to take like a weird turn? Get all supernatural on us. Is this actually a Last of Us sequel? A very secret project with Rocksteady. It's actually The Last of Us 2. And it's like a prequel of this is how The Last of Us thing went down. I kind of like this. There's a lot of atmosphere to it. Staring at a wall. Okay, they've seen me. Well, at least, like... At least it doesn't have to be a stealth section. Damn it! Take him down, Max. Give him the beans. That's the stuff. Lovely. Okay, well they know I'm here now. But I guess I don't have to be too subtle. Also, I like that it's just blokes. Um, as in, like, it's not anything particularly weird. Although I would have been really down for like the la that Last of Us twist. Like, hey, we know, um, obviously, the uh, the water all dried up. But then, uh, it turned out the water hadn't, like, disappeared. It was actually the plants absorbing it all in another part of the world that we didn't know about. And he just, like, wanders off into the Great White and then suddenly finds himself in, like, a actual dangerous environment. There's scrap in here, which I want. 
but I can't conceivably see how I would get. And I'm hoping it doesn't count towards those 10 scrap, because if it does... Oh, okay, you can just climb in here. I was half expecting Max to just die when he fell in there. Okay, it does count towards the 10 scrap. Do I... Can he just climb out? I don't know. Oh, I see there's a... Can you... I've... Oh, there's a... There is a... A ledge. A coloured ledge. I was like, I've never seen Max, like, just actively try and climb a random ledge. But I forgot he can climb specified ledges that are specifically colour-coded for him to climb, of course. I mean, it wouldn't be safe to climb something if it wasn't designated as a climbing area. Where did that guy come from? Mate, you didn't fall a long way. I can't actually counter him, it won't let me because I'm not on his level. Oh, you want some? Can I... is there a crouch? I don't even remember. I don't think there's a crouch in this game. I'm going to presume that there's no crouch. And also I presume these uh, things exist so that you can get out if you do fall in and not because they're expecting you to fall in. Yeah, did we run past that guy? I feel like that's the way we came in. I don't know. I could be mistaken. Is there a way out of here if I get in this one? I'm not convinced there is, you know. YOLO! I can actually just go around. I thought that might have been something, but it's just a, it's just a gen general generator. Uh, you know, it's good to explore. I love to explore. Max loves to explore. He's an explorator. Here's a man. Hello, sir. Oh, did you want some? Did you like that? What happened? I did a melee weapon execution. He just kind of kicked him across the floor. <laughs> Didn't animate properly. Oh, good old, good old Mad Max. What a game. I did it again. I, I, I'm enjoying this game. Oh, I wouldn't want to play it in more than kind of short one to two hour bursts. Uh, and like if, if I wasn't playing it with you guys watching, I would probably uh, listen to a podcast or something while I was playing it. It's that kind of game. Suck my crack crack. Sorry, what? What's that? Suck my what? Do you want to not say that kind of thing? Oh. Yep. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Eat it. All of the way. Oh, up in your cacarack. I didn't really mean to fall down there. Anything? Any scrap while we're here, though? No, but there is some water. You know, let's be prudent. Have a little guzzle. It's only sensible. Lovely. Look at that bonus water. Delightful. Grab this mace. Take it with us. Uh, maybe this is the way we're meant to go. Uh, I, I imagine we can probably explore the rest of this, right? Is this the way we're meant to go? Uh, it is the way we're meant to go, isn't it? Okay, well, let's uh, let's back off. Let's go back. Check the other way. It looked like maybe we were supposed to go the other uh, path. Although, perhaps they link up anyway. But uh, I want to make sure I'm... Oh, man. I didn't mean to drop that. Whatever. I don't need it. It's fine. I've got this covered. Wait. Okay, I have to drop back down and come back up on the other side, apparently. Let's do that. And let's take a lovely walk over here, see what's going on. Because there is more stuff down here and it looks... Kind of like maybe there was something going on. Okay, maybe uh, maybe I was mistaken. Maybe there's nothing going on over here. Are we definitely... There were definitely multiple ways to go. Did I already go down there? And like, get confused or something? Now, maybe I already went down there. Maybe this is the... 
No, I think maybe I did. I think I'm just getting. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Now I think about it, I did. I'm just getting muddled up by myself here. What happens when you, uh. You're thinking about people's cat cracks? It's not a. I mean, it's an inventive name. Good. Just gotta get this thing out of here. Damn it, missing a scrap. Always the way. Uh, wedge this thing open. Here we go. I don't know why uh, Gut Gash wants this so much. I mean, it's <laughs> just <laughs> chuck it out. That definitely would have just gone through those railings. That that whole thing is uh, an absolute farce. See, it still says 9 of 10 scrap when I'm here. Which makes me believe that the scrap could be around here. But I don't think it is. I think it's probably in here somewhere. Uh, I so want 100% that thing. But at the same time, I don't want to go back and explore all these tunnels. You know what? I'm not going to do it. Because I can always come back. If I ever get the urge to 100% this game, I can always come back. Down you go, Jet Max. Time to send for Gut Gash guys. The Gut Gash guys. Like a really great band name. Sign of the gods. I don't know how this piece of metal will make any difference to Gut Gash's followers. At least I got a good amount of scrap for giving it to him. Claw food. Lobsters, mussels, oysters, shrimps, crabs, chowder. Man, I love a bit of chowder. Clam chowder. Gotta do that. Always gotta do that. Can't help myself. Okay. Cool chum bucket. In fact... I say that. Probably a better idea. Let's uh, fast travel to somewhere. Maybe Gut Gashes? Looks like Gut Gash hasn't got anything going on right now. There's got to be a mission somewhere, right? Has Pink Eye got something going on? I mean, she's got a big purple thing on there. So let's let's head to Pink Eye's. We, shouldn't, we can do the armory project while we're there that we unlocked for one of the missions. Kind of along our way. Maybe one of Jeet's missions. I think it unlocked... Uh, didn't know you were a Bring the info to Pink Eye. I don't even remember what this was for. Oh, we've already maybe we've already got the armory now. I think. Did we build it? Yeah, we already built it. Forget me. Forget what I'm saying. I, I thought we hadn't done it yet. Apparently, we had. Do you have anything that we can chat to you about, Pink Eye? She's got quite a squad here. Tell me you flush the storm. To be every day blended into the other. Get rid of those rogues. Now you never know what the next day will bring. Reckon Scrotus war. Don't talk over one another. Anything going on here? Well, it doesn't seem like it. Do we need to do um storms? Maybe we need to do uh one of those other like green missions. Can we spy one anywhere on the map? Hmm. Wait. Is our next mission here? Is that the next wasteland mission? Is go to there? I think what we should do is we should head to Deep Fryer because we haven't been told to go here. Uh, but at the same time, like that seems like the next logical place to be. So can we fast travel to here? No, apparently we never went there. Well, let's go to here first then. It's Clean different. it up. And then once we've been there, we'll head towards Deep Fryers. Because they, uh, when we unlocked the armory projects for here, it also did it for deep fryers. So well, I, I'm pretty sure that we were never explicitly told to go there. Unless it was just like an incidental bit of throwaway dialogue I missed where they said, Oh, you could go over here if you want. But um, I, I'd imagine that we can, uh, we can make our way over and go meet whoever this person is and... You know, we don't have to be told to go somewhere. This is uh, this is the wasteland, and we're we're really not like specifically tied to anyone in this in this story. We're except ourselves. We don't have to follow a set path. We can just head to. We're just trying to get to Gastown, right? So theoretically, we can get to Gastown. Oh my gosh, that went way better than I was expecting. Was that? Oh, maybe that. I think. I think that thing's supposed to explode. Bios, vehicles. Hmm, are they roadkill enemies? 
Is it this thing? Okay. So, you're not supposed to ram it. I was like, that thing went down very easily, but it did do a lot of damage to our vehicle. So maybe, in future, don't ram those things. I'm getting out. Oh my gosh. He got way too much speed up there. Oh, I'm getting absolutely battered. Come on, chaps. If you want some, I will unequivocally be unequivocally give it you. I'd like it if you just got out of the car, to be honest. Wait, is there a man on the back of that? Also, I like that it slows down in, uh... You're like, BAM! Take your tyre out. Didn't work. But worth a try. Oh, he's got protection on the door. I thought I'd be able to get him from the front. But I suppose maybe that was ambitious. You know, I'm not convinced this is actually a good way to deal with them. I'm going to go get in the car. We've got the trusty old Thunderpoons in the car, so... Might be a better solution. Or maybe I actually did deal with that. No, I don't think I did. I think it's just... Um, I think it's just uh, that he kind of got stuck up on that rock after we shot him. And not actually thanks to anything I did. Ba -ba -bum -bum. I like how there's also just another car just hanging out there. Just like, oh, we're just chilling. Don't mind us. Oh, the ram! Expose him and stick him. He's coming in hard. Step on it. This ought to do it. Go on, turn around. See how that. See how that works for you. Oh, he's leaving. I'm not having that. Take him out, chum bucket. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to hit him from there. Here we go. Good job, man. Good job. All right, what's the repair button? Or does he do it automatically? I think he press up. I'm just gonna hang out here. I will nurse her back to health. I like his big fire extinguisher. You know, you should come up with a way of. Um, you should wire up some like tubing on the outside, and then have that, like, f point fire extinguisher stuff. So you can just sit in the back and like flick a, a toggle and it just pumps fire uh, fire exhaust. Fire exhaust? Just pumps uh, extinguisher oh, gas. A There's a duster we can actually see. Makes a change. Yeah, just have it pump um, extinguisher fluid like all over the... Um, all over the front of the car when you flick a little switch in the back. See? Easy design, John Bucket. You could have come up with that. It'd be real useful. Save us a lot of time and money. Well, not money, but it saves a lot of time. You having to get out of the car every five minutes because something's awry. Enemy closing in on us. Hi, boys. I don't know if there's actually anyone in that car. I let you get a hit in. Just the one. But better than nothing. Alright, what's here? Oh, this is the one we did and it didn't work. Let's give it another shot. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. No idea. Uh, so I think when we came up here and then... Um, like it was bugging out and it wouldn't let us uh, fuel up the tank. 
It wasn't really apparent why. Hopefully it works this time. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. If it works, it works. Nope, no fuel. And it doesn't seem to want to let us refuel. Which I'm pretty sure you do at this thing here. You see, there's not... There's not like a button allowing me to do it. I don't know. This this game has its little foibles. And admittedly, it, doesn't, it hasn't had too many sort of glitches and bugs. Just this one seems to be a... Just a minor issue, but it's... Uh, a bit upsetting. I'd quite like to quite like to ride this. Oh wait, hang on, wait, 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 wait. You want me to do it here? That's not how this works. That's not how it worked last time. Last time I had to pour it into the tank. Or whatever, suit yourself. Okay, there you go. Apparently you're supposed to just pour oh it goes into that thing there. I'm sure in the past I've put it in, um, I've put it in that little thing on the ground, to our left. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. In fact, you know, I probably am a bit crazy, but the way, <laughs> the way of the world. We, we figured it out one way or the other, so. Oh man, we're getting pretty close to Gas Town. I mean, obviously, our next missions are set at Gas Town. Although I can't imagine that we're expected to just wander in there. Slow in one piece. Massive scarecrow. I love it if he just went, Pink Eye's Tower. Looks like it's been blown up. Ah, well. That's a bit shit, I suppose. Fortified scarecrow. Fortified scarecrow. Anyone else? Anything doing? There's Pink Eyes. That's good. Good to know. Still in one piece. A worthy observation, Max. A massive scarecrow. Two massive scarecrows and a sniper. And again, another two and a sniper. And a stank gum camp. There's ye old gas town. Kind of weird that it doesn't mark that on the map. And it uh, looks like we're back to where we were at. Were there cars near us then? Or does it have... Does that uh, those binoculars have a directional microphone on? They're just the one. They're the um, the ones straight out of uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. D mic built in. Why don't they call the directional microphone D mic in Metal Gear? That would make so much sense. I'm pretty sure they don't do that. Woohoo! It's all right, Chum Bucket. I figured it out. I was a bit of a pillock last time, but I I've uh, I sorted things out. And we should be good to go. Right, how are we doing on on upgrades? Let's say, oh, we've got new stuff. Okay, new wrist armor, fantastic. Decrease damage from a failed parry. Increase counters and disarms. Absolutely. Look at these lovely little things. We got a new look for Max. Short hair and beard with goggles. Oh, nice. God, he's looking a bit beat up. Crikey. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, we just got all the... So we can have him with goggles, but apparently with goggles also has him... Kind of injured. He seems less injured on that. Oh, that's what you can't see is. I don't know about that. Like, I don't love it. Oh look! Apparently he apparently he always looked like that. Apparently he was always kind of scuffled up. Ha! Huh. What do you know? Let's try out this. Let's. Uh, I like this look. Let's go with this. Or do you want to go with the short hair? Well, we've been we've been rolling with the short hair, so let's. Uh, let's say it's grown it's grown out a little bit again. Uh, he's washed the face paint off. Or he's run out of face paint for now. Got some new skills. What do we get? Have a browse. Master melee reversal. Acquire the skill reversal to unlock. I've got reversal. 
Okay, no, it's just telling me. Allows a melee weapon reversal even after a normal parry. Okay. So that means um, I, I don't have to do like a perfect parry to do it. That's kind of nice. What's the shield smash thing? That sounds like it could be pretty useful. Shatter enemy shields. Okay. Only works on weaker shields, but I think that's probably a pretty useful thing to have. Um, anything else doing? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing it would tell us. What about, uh, how's our legend doing? Ten Griffa tokens. Is Griffa nearby? Yeah, let's go visit Griffa. Probably wise. Okay, right, I've got to go make a quick visit to the half puff man. Chum bucket, I need to uh, get my fix of the wacky tobacco. See if I can spice up my wife. As a spice girl, this is just a euphemism for uh, like dodgy synthetic weed alternatives. <laughs> man, that adds a whole new flavour to their, their music. Crikey. Spice up your life with slightly more dangerous than weed synthetic weed substitutes. Now, I can't harpoon that from here, but maybe I can thunderpoon it from here. Give it a try. I mean, I hit it, didn't seem to do very much, but I did hit it. You now it's got a target on it. Maybe you actually is just a lot hot. Maybe this is a lot slower to deal with it this way because that's not how you're supposed to really pull it. You're meant to just pull them down. It's damaging it. Or maybe it's uh, maybe that's just to get around the fact that you are supposed to have like a certain level of harpoon to take it down. Ah. Crunch. We're now we're out of Thunderpoon, so now we're going to want to get back. I think maybe we head back to Pink Eyes after we've seen Griffa. So let's get over to Griffa, spend our tokens, and then we'll head back to uh, we'll head back to Pink Eyes and call it a night. Once we're back there. Oh man, kind of skittery driving there. We've, got, we've lowered our handling when we're off our asphalt. I'm pretty sure that wasn't actually asphalt. Just some... I'm leaving for a while. Something i got to do. I like how he, he, he kind of the game seem, The game seems to say that when you get near here, so I think it must know that you're near like a griffer point. Because he doesn't tend to say it when you do other things like go into a camp and stuff. Alright, son. You got any more of that... Uh, Darwinian purple kush? No, mate. Today, let me tell you about the pink puff bananas. Yet you refuse to live. Perhaps you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am. If you knew, why would you wander like this? Is this guy like a? Slightly, slightly dodgy. Uh, this is basically um, a wasteland version of Ephemeral Rift. This is what I can imagine him doing in a post-apocalyptic world. Maybe he's already done some kind of roleplay of it. I wouldn't be surprised. Whoa! Griffa tokens. Okay, let's see what we got. More damage. More ammo. We don't even really need more ammo at this point. More health from food. That sounds good. More water. More scrap, always welcome. Melee weapon for longer. More damage. We'll increase our legend level. Fury mode for longer. Sure. Sorted. Now we're a wheeler dealer level 5. Like Del Boy. Right. Okay. And uh, we'll head back to Pink Eyes. There she is. Fantastic. And uh, that's going to wrap up for now. But there's the... Uh, it's been popping up a lot. But there's the Rockstar Energy Drink sponsored ornaments. 
I think you can get those for free now. I think they added them to the game for everyone. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that's uh, Mad Max for today. Thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, be sure to bop that like button. And uh, subscribe to the channel or come back whenever for more Mad Max content. Drop me a comment down below if uh, you have anything you want to say about the series or anything you'd like to ask me or about the game. Or anything you'd like me to let you know. You know? Or anything you'd like to let me know about something I've been missing or doing wrong or just kind of skipping over. Tell me about it. Other games, of course, continuing to come your way. So be sure to check out the main channel for all that good stuff as well. Main channel. So I've got another one. Be sure to check out the channel and uh, see what's going on over there because there's plenty of other cool games going on alongside Mad Max. And uh, that's going to do it for now. So I've been Ken. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.